Classic WoW is probably the most popular this game has been since launch. The, the queue times are absolutely ridiculous. You're getting 20k queues every day on, on Benediction alone, on the server that I play Alliance on. Um, you're Now you're getting, I think last night it hit, what, 9, 10k on Sky Fury, the new fresh server. Uh, so, so the queues are getting insanely out of hand. I want to try and kind of brainstorm and come up with some ideas for, for good, legitimate solutions to how, how to fix this problem. Or, or really not how to fix the problem, but... but I guess, what should Blizzard do in order to counteract these queues? They've already opened up free transfers to some servers, but the servers that they've opened free transfers to, uh, people seem to not really want to go play there. So it's not working, uh, at least not at a very high rate. I would like to go and I would like to come up with some ideas, maybe with chat, okay, that's why I'm doing this on stream, and uh, kind of pick people's brains and see if it's like, okay, wait, this will work. And uh, I want to try to talk to some people at Blizzard about it and, and see if, if we can kind of help uh, help them come up with a good solution. The, the queues are almost like a, um, it's its own feedback loop. Because what happens is whenever you have the queues being so long, people will go to additional lengths to not log off because they don't want to have to send a queue whenever they want to log back on later, right? It is similar to like a self-fulfilling prophecy or, or whatever, right? It's, it's, like a, it's like a positive feedback loop, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Like it's all the same thing. The queues themselves cause the queues to be even longer because people will go to additional lengths to not try and log off because uh, they, they don't want to queue whenever they log back in, thus causing the queues to be even longer. There we go. There's no queue on Benediction right now. Yes, but it's also 11.19 a.m. on a Wednesday. So uh, most people in America are either at work, at school, or uh, asleep. Actually, it's 11.20. Frick, you're right now, it changed. There's actually a five minute queue right now in Benediction? That's crazy. Instead of having server queues or forcing transfers, why doesn't Blizzard just super glue the server blades together to make super big mega servers so everyone can play? Easy. True. Good point. Uh, everyone wanting to play with their streamer is the queue problem? No, it's it literally has nothing to do with it. I think I think it is it is so awfully disconnected to to associate queues with their streamer, uh, especially when it comes to servers like Benediction and Fairlina. Why? Because what streamer is playing on Benediction? They all quit. Almost everybody quit. Asma doesn't play on Benediction. Chance doesn't play on Benediction. Stay Safe doesn't play on Benediction. I play on Benediction, but like I've been here for nine months. Streamers have nothing to do with it. I, I think it's, I think it's, hor there, there are other streamers, right? But like, let's be honest, there's, there's one streamer that uh, demands a, a, a huge audience of people that just obsessively like gather around him like flies and that's Asmin, right? It's super weird, I don't know, I don't get it. Asmin doesn't get it, nobody gets it, right? It's just, it is what it is. But it's not like that for Chance even, it's not like that for me. I mean, it wasn't a problem until pre-patch, absolutely. And the reason why is because Benediction, people want to go to the biggest party. This is the problem. People want to go to the biggest party. So they want to go where they think they have the most opportunity to play with the most amount of people, where I can get groups the easiest, I can I can find arena partners to PvP with. For the PvP community, if you're a PvPer, there's two servers to play on, essentially. There's Benediction and Fairlina. If you want to be competitive, those are the two places where you can go and you can find people to play with and you can arena with if you don't already have your team preset. There are some other good teams from other servers. There's a good team from, I think, Grobulus. I've seen a good team from, from White Mate. There, there's, other good, there's other teams, or there's other servers with good teams, but it's like one or two versus the, the overwhelming majority of good teams being Horde, Fairlina, and, and Benediction Alliance. Anyone got pineapple? Yes. I do have pineapple. I think coming up with solutions to the Q problem in Classic WoW, I think we have to go at it with some sort of like constants, right? Some assumptions. We're gonna go ahead and assume that they can't add more layers. Uh, yeah, they can, yeah, they can. We don't know that. I feel like Blizzard would be completely freaking stupid to not have the most simple solution, which is add more layers, zero IQ to not just add more layers if they could. I'm under the assumption that they've already gone and they've added as many layers as they can. I genuinely believe that they can't add more layers. Let's start with that assumption, okay? 
Okay, hardware limitations are reached. They have zero money. Lol. They can't just buy more server space, whatever. They just can't do it, right? That's it. What other assumptions can we make? This isn't just a Blizzard thing. Let's talk about the community. Assumptions. Players are gathering on few servers because they want to play with the most people. Wait, Blade of Misfortune? Sarah Fortune. Wait, that's OP. Hold on. Um, I will trade you Scenarian Bracers for a Blade of Misfortune. Very good. Nice. Okay. <laughs> You're also forgetting that we have to assume Blizzard has already tried sexually harassing the servers. <laughs> All those people are fired, okay? Let's be fair. All those people are gone. Actually, most of those people were already fired before then. This is Brian Birmingham. The short version is these realms are already five times the size of the 2005 realms. If everybody in Q went to a new realm, they'd film that realm up too. So what does that mean? In vanilla, server cap was 3,000, five times. So what he's saying here essentially is there's five layers and there is a whole full server of people worth five layer server of people uh, or worth of people sitting in Q for Benediction in this screenshot. Players. I'm a software architect. They need to change the way instances, battlegrounds, and dungeons are run. Instead of running on the realm server, they dynamically allocate server space on the fly to run the instance. Then they can just add hardware as needed when a realm slash region gets popular. Th that's not a solution of something that they can do like this week. And I don't know. I don't know how it's run. Right? I, I don't. I have no idea how it's run. I'm trying to come up with a a solution. What can you do to make people? want to transfer off of these big servers to reduce the queues. What would get you to transfer? That is a good that is a good place to start and I think that's a good place to start for everybody. Think for yourself what would get you to transfer. I've thought about this. I think one solution to reduce the Sky Fury queue, this is only for Sky Fury cuz Sky Fury had a 9k person queue. Add another fresh PvP. Oh. I have an idea. A VIP login priority pass. Tiered cost structure for priority login status. Thank you, Blizzard CEO. That's a great idea. <laughs> Skyveri is the NA West PvP Fresh that was added. Add another fresh PvP server on the East Coast with free transfers from Skyfury to uh, NA East Fresh, whatever it's called. Ground <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I like that. Let's call it ground chill. Now you have another fresh PvP server and you put it on East Coast instead of West Coast and you offer free transfers from Sky Fury to this new fresh. I think that there's not really enough of a community established to where you're really like hurting or fracturing communities or whatever if you give people the opportunity to move to this other server. I think that this is not enough. In addition to free transfer, to ground chill, right? I think you have to give more incentive for people to want to transfer. And I think that incentive comes from the boosted XP rate being so, for me, that was huge. I, I don't really want to level again, but given there's a boosted XP rate, I think if you give people an even a higher boosted XP rate on, on this ground chill server, take it from 50% to 100%, I think that would be a big time thing to get people to try and move so not only are you putting it on east coast you increase the xp rate to plus 100 percent until wrath on this server until wrath launch i think this would actually pull a a significant number of people from sky fury to this ground chill server the reason why i think it'll pull more people to, to transfer from sky fury to ground chill is because most of the people who are affected negatively by the Q situation, time is very valuable to them. They have jobs, they have normal working schedules, they go to school. So now not only are you giving them an opportunity to play on a different server where they might not have a Q, but also on top of that, you're increasing their XP rate even more, which makes their valuable time even, uh, uh, it increases the value of their time spent in the game. I love that Classic has just become a massive private server. Well, you're kind of right. The same thing happened in the private server community. 
people all congregated onto one big private server. There was always one per like at a time. There was always one that was just that was the king. Nostalrius, Elysium, Lights Hope. Like that that is one server is king. People want to play with the most amount of people and that's just it. That's how it works. Have we completely ruled out having sex with the servers? Nobody is having sex with anybody, okay? There's no sex. Create a second press server and merge them X weeks after launch. Make all names taken from first server so there's no merge conflict. Huh. I, Glutch, I wonder if that's possible. All names taken on Sky Fury will also be reserved on Ground Chill. People will abuse the 100% and end up transferring off eventually leaving servers dead again. Personal take. Uh, so you can't transfer off for three months. This 100% to 50% XP rate uh, going until Wrath launch, which is less than three more weeks, is not going to make it. It, it's, it, has, it has no impact on that. It has no impact on that. If the servers die after Wrath launch, as people go back and play on their main servers, then you can merge the servers after some time with no concern about uh, naming conflicts or anything. You would merge them into whichever server is most populated, east or west. Wouldn't Dungeon Finder being cross realm lessen the feeling you need to be on a mega server? Dude, see, this is what I'm saying. Like when, when people talked about years ago, no changes and slippery slope and all this stuff. I was one of the people that was, you have to account for the times. People play the game differently. There, there's different tech, there's different, just everything is different. And there's some changes that need to be made to, to account for all the knowledge people have and yada, yada, yada. Over time, Blizzard has actually finally opened up to this. However, now all of a sudden when we're talking about sharding and cross play and that, that is a genuine slippery slope when does it end situation. Not the kind of stuff, most of the kind of stuff that people were talking about three years ago. The PvP community plays the game differently than the average players. I think most people who play this game, they, they find people to play with, they, they join a guild, they raid with their guild, their guild is a loot council or a, or a DKP, or I still think that is the most traditional common way that people play this game. Great news. I got a job at Blizzard for my idea. Everything was going well, I had super glued three server blades together to make a big mega server, but then fucking David from accounting came in and stuck his dick in the server blades and broke it. Thanks a lot David. I'll keep you updated. That's good, that's good stuff, very good. Keep, keep me up to date on that, very good. I said that people wanna play with the most amount of people, right? And these, a bunch of these little factors, including the PVPers, including the PvPers, adds to that. And because it's not just PvPers, it's people that want to play with uh, the, like ha have the, uh, join the best guilds. There's people that want to just have a large pool of people to, ch to, to play with. It's not just PvPers. <clears throat> this is really constructive, great job. I, dude, I'm, I'm trying really hard. I started watching you on the first day of Classic Beta. You were half asleep eating a corn dog. Are you serious? I was not half asleep. I was completely asleep. <laughs> I was sleep eating. So this is what I think is, is a good solution for Fresh. Suggestions for everywhere. This is one that, that I'm kind of timid on, but I think it's a good solution for arenas. Maybe Battlegrounds. I've actually already, I actually already mentioned this to somebody at Blizzard. Retail PvP system is an overwhelmingly welcome change for the PvP community. Uh, this would not make a huge impact, but it would help for Good help for the players that only play on Benediction slash Fairlina that only play there to PvP with people. Most people are looking for partners off platform and Discord communities, etc. So now they can play on Sulfurus, for example, and queue with someone from Benediction. I don't think it is a good idea for us to have cross-server grouping for raids and dungeons. I feel like this happened in retail 
And it's one of the key components, one of the key things that years ago, people said started to fracture server communities. Why PVP but not PVE? The reason why I think you should for PVP is because they added the new retail arena system, which gets rid of preset teams. And the nature of like the, the player behavior of how PVPers play is, is it's different than how PVEers play. And how, I mean, really just how most of the community of the game plays. I think if you can do cross server handmade dungeon groups, but not dungeon finder. Okay. I don't really know. I think you could give people more XP if they server transfer. You could offer people a free month of game time, which that's a lot. I feel like that that's one that is probably least likely to happen. Like if you transfer to a dead server, you get a free month of game time for transferring as well. Um, like a credit or something. People have to have a reason to do something like, like, that's yeah, I think, I think like, that's go, not worth it to most people, too, the, the free movement. Exactly, like, sitting in the queue, because the queue's going to be temporary, or not, it's not going to be this long forever, right? People will just quit. People have to go back to work, you know? People have only so much day off, days off, right? Yeah. And honestly, people are motivated by being able to achieve something. Like, that's just life in general. People are motivated by achievements. What can you give people an opportunity to achieve if they transfer to a dead server? <clears throat> I mean, it's already, like... I, I keep saying the phrase dead server. It's just, it's just way less. Oh, you know what they need to do? You ready? What? Okay, this might piss a lot of people off, but in the current state, every three hours, they need to disconnect everyone okay. from the server. I'm dead serious. I thought the same thing this morning. I was like, what if they just did a force restart? Yeah. Bro, I can guarantee you 80% of the people in queue are AFK and like 50% of people online are AFK, just so they can play later if they want to. Just disconnect everyone and I guarantee you everyone gets to play. I think like, it would... I, I've, I've been playing and I've been DC'd, right? And then I've always gotten to play right away. I've never not been able to play. Yeah. Know? After the DCs. Well, because you have you have like five minutes of grace period or something, or like three minutes. I don't know what it is, but there's some degree of like grace period if you if you DC while AFK, or sorry, if you DC while playing. Yeah. So if they're AFK and they're not actually there, then yeah. Exactly. Now, now like, that not, would suck for lie. the people that are remote desktoping, but. I know, but those people are also they're remote desktop. Part of the problem. Yeah, they're also part of the problem. I mean, my, myself included. I mean, I've, I've remote desktop before. Dude, yesterday I queued before I left to go do IRL with Bonnie. I came back and I still had a 1,000 person queue. Like f four hours later, five hours later almost. I think the force restart every, every three server. hours is not a bad idea. I can't particularly think of anything else right now off the top of my head. Some of you guys have had some good suggestions and stuff in chat. And we, we kind of we kind of went and we, we, we drew some stuff from that too. If there's anything in YouTube comments, chat, say hi YouTube. Uh, in the YouTube comments, if you guys have anything, anything to, to, to suggest that I'm like, oh, hey, that's actually a good idea. Um, leave a comment. We all know that there's a lot of problems with the queue and we all know that the queue is not going to last forever. So trying to come up with a solution, uh, you, you don't want to necessarily come up with a permanent solution for a temporary problem either. So this is going to take a little bit of time and effort um, or a little bit of thinking, but hopefully not a whole lot of time. This is probably going to be a problem for anywhere from the next few weeks to the next few months, maybe. Uh, realistically, if history repeats itself. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you guys haven't subscribed already. If you have any suggestions, send them my way and uh, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can give some good feedback and uh, hopefully Blizzard gets their stuff together here pretty soon. Bye YouTube.